hello friends in this today's video we will see the how can we connect to the private rds using our local laptop system mysql workbench so this is my my database so here you can check the publicly accessible no means uh, the resources inside the vpc are able to access the rds database or my laptop is a in my my local networks it is outside of the aws network so i am not able to connect to the my rds database so let me show you the error i am what I, error i am facing let me open my my scale workbench database then connect to the database in the host name add your host name then three three resources then Add your username and password. Click on the OK. And again, OK. So, this is not opening the database connection because of my RDS database is in a private network. So, what needs to be done? So here you can check the this error we are getting now. Unable to connect. So when your RDS in a private, then you need to connect to that RDS through the MySQL or which using the your Bastion server. Bastion server means in the same VPC your uh, public EC2 server. So in my case, I have this Bastion server. Here, here you can check the this server have public IP address by configuring this public IP address in our MySQL workbench we are login we are able to log into the address database first thing you need to must verify that this server have access to the address database so how can you that verify log into your bastion server let me open my Uh, oh, oh, mobile stream and this is my server bastion server you can use any uh, tool like you can uh, prepare putty or something like eh? and execute the command telnet then your database endpoint we are checking the connectivity using the telnet command that the ec2 server have access to the then you need to enter a port number so our ec2 server is able to connect to the mysql database and the output you can check the connected if in your case if the this bastion server is not uh, unable to connect or anything you got here then you need to open your rds ec2 rds server security group and in the in inbound role open the 3306 port you can uh, open to the publicly accessible or you can specify this windows server ip address also like this select your security group Click on the edit and borrow rules and MySQL pinch, MySQL Aurora, and then paste your uh, EC2 server IP address like this. Add the slash 32 in the end and click on the save rules. So that's it for the connectivity. Now we will connect to the uh, we will use, connect to the using the MySQL workbench to the, our database. Click on the connect to the database. In the connection method, choose the standard TCP/IP over SSH. 
then enter your EC2 server IP then username my server is Ubuntu so I have added the SSH username as Ubuntu SSH key file select your SSH key file key file means encrypted file that we are we have generated while creating the server then you need to enter your MySQL hostname this is the endpoint hostname means endpoint RDS endpoint and paste in the MySQL hostname section port number my my mine server uh, is three uh, mysql so it is already have with the 3306 port number then add your username admin and add your password click on the ok and click on the again ok option So now you can see that I have successfully connected to the my MySQL MySQL server. These are the number of databases I have configured in my RDS instance. We have like uh, successfully connected to our private RDS using the Bastion host. So, uh, what exactly we did? We get through the, with the help of Bastion server we access the AWS network and through that network we connect it to our RDS database so that's all in this today's video if you are facing any issues or doubt please let me in the comment section thank you for the watching the video